Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your NEET examination. This question came on NEET 2021. So let us see this question first. Question says, a uniform rod of length 200 centimeters. So we have been given this length of uh, a rod whose length is 200 centimeter. And a mass is 500 grams. So that means 0.5 kg. Is balanced on a wedge placed at 40 centimeter mark. So this is a wedge which I've been given to you. And the balancing point at this particular point. Okay and the masses are also attached to it so a mass of 2 kg is suspended from the rod at 20 centimeter mark and another mass of m kg is suspended from the rod at 160 centimeter mark as shown in the figure find the value of m such that the rod is in equilibrium so that means the whole system is in equilibrium so that means the net torque acting on the system must be zero okay so it is at a mark of 200 centimeters so that means the distance from it is 40 minus 20 which is 20 centimeter so this is uh, so the perpendicular distance of this mass from an equilibrium position so is from its uh, from its suspend, suspended position is 20 centimeter now and what about this distance this is 160 minus 40 which is 120 centimeter okay and the mass of the rod is also there so the mass of the whole rod must be concentrated at its center so the center point since it is of 200 centimeters so the center point must be at its 100 centimeter marks so that means it must be somewhere over here so this would be the center of mass of rod and the weight of the rod and what is the mass of the rod mass of the rod is 500 gram which is half kg so half m into g so this would be the weight of the rod which will act will which will gonna act and it should always act at its center of mass and so the center of mass point is at this particular point and it must be at a distance of 60 centimeter from this particular point the suspension point okay so now since it is not rotating so that means it is in equilibrium so that means the net torque acting on the system must be zero so the torque because of this 2 kg rod it is clock uh, it is anti clockwise and because of the torque because of the uh, because of the uh, center cent because of the mass of the rod is clockwise again the torque because of this small m mass is also clockwise so that means the these two clockwise torque will gonna balance out this anti-clockwise torque okay so what would be the anti-clockwise torque so the magnitude of the anti-clockwise torque must be equal to r cross f so it must be equal to 20 centimeter cross 2 into g because the weight of this 2 kg mass is m into g where g is 10 meter per second square so it must be equal to 2 20 into 20 okay so this must be this anti-clockwise torque will gonna balance out clockwise torque of the center of mass as well as the clockwise torque of this small m mass so it would be so the torque of this would be 60 centimeter into half into 10 plus because since these are in clockwise direction so the torque of these two must be added up so it would it would be 120 the perpendicular distance from it is 120 and this must be equal to m into g so the weight of this rod okay so the 10 can also be taken to be so this term would be equal to 2 to the 4 just a second so this term would be 400 must be equal to 300 plus and this is 1200 m so here it would be 100 must be equal to 1200 m okay so this will be this comes out to be 1 by 12 kg okay so the answer that we are getting is fourth option which is 1 by 12 kg so that means this mass must be equal to 1 by 12 kg in order to balance this whole system and in order to have net equilibrium zero so in order to have it should not rotate okay this question is quite easier to solve that's you need to remember the net uh, talk concept in order to solve this question okay i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you